Well, that's Monday taken care of, but what if one day a week isn't enough for you hungry Jesus lovers? Lucky for you, there's more stuff going on during the week, and right now we're just going to give you a quick seven-day forecast as to what happens. Forecast! <laughs> Mondays! It's the CU. You saw the details earlier, remember? Tuesdays! Tuesday is my day off. Seriously though, we don't do anything on Tuesday, so you need to have your own fun or work or something. <laughs> Wednesdays! Oh my belly! On Wednesdays there's this thing happening called Food Face, which happens at St Paul's Church, which is this church. There you can get a healthy home-cooked meal for one pound! To Thursday! So, on Thursdays, there's this thing called The Mix, which is happening, and that's being run by NCC Church, which is this church. And that is basically a place where all young people can come together, experience some fellowship, mm. some discipleship, and get mm. some teaching to basically go out into the streets and tell people about Jesus. Jesus. Which I think is absolutely brilliant. Mm. I agree. Excellent. That's why we're endorsing it. Friday. On Fridays, there's something happening called Fight Club, mm. which starts at 4 p.m. and takes place at 56 Killian Road, which is where we live. We live there. Another person who lives there is a guy called Steph Roberts, and he's going to tell you all about what Fight Club is and why he loves it so very, very much. So over to you, Steph. One of the great things we do at the CU is uh, an accountability group for guys called Fight Club. Um, basically, we get together and we talk about just real things that are going on in our lives and um, we have a lot of fun and it's brilliant. It's uh, every week on uh, Friday at four o'clock. On with the week, eh, Jack? Saturday! Nothing happens on Saturdays. Disappointing, I know, but you have to have your own free time. Ever heard of the Sabbath? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Sunday. Sunday. Now that can only mean one thing, can't it Jack? Church. Now, there are pretty much about 50 million churches in Newport, yeah. so as a fresher, I can totally understand that it's difficult for you guys to find one, get settled. Luckily for you though, we thought of that. As a CU, we are going on a church tour, and basically for 10 weeks, we're gonna be going around Newport, going to churches like these ones, and basically just giving you guys a taste of what's out there so you can make your own choice and get settled in a church because church is well important. Well, fact, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you look great. So, if we're getting around, if we're having events, we might tell you to meet at one of five places. Here they are in an up-to-date, on-the-edge fashion provided by Jack Caulfield. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have the University of Wales Newport Clock Tower. Here! Then we have the University of Wales Free Bus Stop. I gotta go. Bye bye. I'll call you in a bit. If you're not already clued up on the bus times, they arrive here at 20 past and leave at half past. So if we tell you to meet at quarter past, you better be there. You jerk. <laughs> then we have the pay bus stop outside the uni. This is the pay bus stop. That means any bus you catch from here, you have to pay to get on. It costs like 120 or something. Anyway, we'll only ask you to do that on weekends, and it'll be mainly to go to churches when there's no free buses running. Beef that. Then we have the bus stop halfway down Killian Road, which is where our house is, if you ever want to meet us up for a bus trip into town. Yeah! 
This is the bus stop in which you'll need to get to our house, 56 Killian Road. Yes. The pay bus and the free bus both come here, and it's just before town, just in case you didn't want to go all the way in. Bearing in mind, it's a request stop. Yes, you have to push the bell. Bing! Or put your hand out. Bong! Wang! <laughs> <laughs> And then finally we have the town centre bus stop. If you're going from the town centre back to uni, here it is. Here! This is Newport bus station in the city centre. But obviously this one is a bit of a trick because it all depends on which type of bus you're getting. If you're paying for your ticket, there you are sir, thank you. This is where you come. If you're getting the free bus, then here is where the free bus drops you off from coming from university. Over there, on the other side of the road, is where you get the free bus if you want to go to university. Very simple, very quick. Are they good bus service, Tom? Yeah, super duper whooper. So that's everything. Uh, that's a lot of stuff that's going on. Pretty much every day's booked, but it's all God stuff, so that's great. Um, I hope that wasn't too much information for you. It was quite a lot, but hopefully right now there should be an information sheet being circled around. Look around you, it could be behind you. That should be all handed out and in your hands now. If it isn't, I'm going to blame you, Tom Morris. That's very poor. But, uh, but no, yeah, it's all on the information sheet, everything you need, and I think all that's left for us to say is thank you for listening. You've been a wonderful audience, and God bless. We all hope to get to know you guys over the next year, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a good one. So, cheers. Thank you. Yeah, because <laughs> 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 <laughs>